Richie, thanks for joining us. What do you make of what happened today? Um, I thought first half we were good. Should have been two or three up. Uh, miss an open goal. Miss another one where we hit the man on the line. Um, had another good opportunity. Should be a couple of goals up. We don't take them. Second half, diabolical. From the, from the kick-off, poor, poor decision-making, poor body language, poor intensity, poor quality. Um, and again, Dave, it's, we conceded one shot and got on target. We had, and and for, for how we've only had, I'm not sure if we had one or two, how we have had only one or two shots on target with the areas that we get in. How many times my full-backs put crosses in low and dead if, I think we've put over 50 crosses in today, including set plays, and our strikers... Bearing in mind that we played a really narrow front three, I've not got one first contact. So the desire, the hunger, the intensity to get in there and score goals wasn't there. And it's, it's our, for me, it's our biggest, our biggest deficiency at the moment. We need, we need a centre forward that's going to get themselves in the position, sprint into areas, score goals. Because if we go 1-0 up there, the game changes. But we, at the moment, we never, ever score when we're on top. And I mean on top. And then in the end, it becomes a little bit shambolic where... I should never have to change the shape. I should never have to make it five subs in a performance where it was so comfortable. But the players need to wake up. The players need to... And what I'm saying to you is nothing that I've said differently. We let our supporters down second half because it was, a, a, honestly, a diabolical performance. And from, why, a, from a really good performance. Why was it so bad after the restart? Well, again, we asked the players. Do you know what it is, Dave? They get In the tactics that we give them, in the way that we play, they then get too comfortable. And they get above themselves. And what do they start trying? Something that is not going to get them success. So, in the first... So, we switched the ball, we've played in pockets, we've got our full-backs high and wide, we've delivered ball after ball, and it's looked good. And the kick-off, we play long. It goes to Guthrie's head, he clears it with no contact. We then put it straight back in, goes to Guthrie's head, he clears it. It then goes straight back in to Guthrie's head, so free on the bounce, yeah? And he's cleared it with no contact, no pressure. We then have a throw-in. Five seconds later, the ball goes da down to Dan Hap, and we've said, don't switch the ball by a diag when the ball has come from the same side. We then play a diag, knowing that they play narrow wingers. Yeah, We lose a diag, and the wingers cheating inside or in a good position to, to counter-attack. The diag is never on. We've not told them to do that. And then they counter-attack, we give a throw and away, and we can see they go like that. So I think you can sense in, in my voice of frustration because it was a game that... <sighs> Should have been, it should have been comfortable. But maybe that's the problem. Was we're comfortable in games, and then as soon as something goes our way, we're lacking. We look like a young, inexperienced, naive team. Second half, but there was experience on that pitch, particularly in that second I half. I disagree, but the experience doesn't. When I'm saying naive, you still made some right decisions. We pass the ball slow. We don't punch it. Second half, we take too many touches. Um, so yeah, we 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 need we need to wake up because. <laughs> Again, it's not a performance where... Sorry, it went from a performance where we should be winning to a performance that bad that Northampton deserved to win. Without Sean Clare, what is the news regarding him? he out for two to three months. And that injury is a hip injury? Uh, yeah, no, it's something where he, he might need an up in, in and around the groin area. It's a, a big blow, isn't it? It's a big blow because I think at the time him and Galbraith was, was two of our best players. Um... And even though we've got a lot of options in midfield, no one's really taking the shirt. No one's really... I know, Alice, I, I get Dom, because Dom's trying to fit a pre-season and he's playing while he's still trying to get fit, so I get that. And sometimes when you get when you get in fit, it's not just your technical ability, it's your mental ability to see things quicker, to, to move the ball quicker. So, um, But no one's screaming out and going, give me the shirt, Sean Clare's injured, because I think at the time he was our best midfield player. But in fact, we could say that all across the pitch. No one's really grabbing it. Um, and we had this same conversation a few weeks ago. And, and performance, sorry, results do sometimes mask over performances, good or bad. And I think if we would have played the, sec the first half, sorry, the second half the same as the first half, I think we could come out here and say, well, listen, we deserve to win. But the second half was so bad. So bad. You changed the goalkeeper. What's your thoughts there? Because Josh has been training really, really well. I think you see his, his composure from, from, from the ball at his feet. I think his starting position is high. He's a, he's a progressive goalkeeper and we need to give him a go. At some point, we need to give him a go. So I think that um, he can be proud of his league debut because I thought him and Galbraith was two of our best players. It's Rotherham on Tuesday. What can you do, particularly up front, uh, ahead of that game, as you look for your first home win? Again, more belief, more physicality, more belief in, in, in terms of your, your intensity. I just spoke to him there. I said, the best two goal scorers in our league are Alfie May and... and um, 
the kid who Birmingham played. I should really know it. Stansfield. Stansfield, sorry, yeah. They're, a, they're the best three strikers in our league. Them two will finish if you don't share the load. Them two will finish the top goal scorers in this league. They're both five foot seven, five foot eight. It's because they have a desire to run in the right areas and they're consistent in the movement. We're not consistent in one wheel, we'll go there and then we'll go across the front. We, the amount, so the, what we worked on, they keep quite a high line. You can get that last pass when your full back is receiving it on the last line. We wanted early low crosses. But you've got to get across the front man. And we don't work hard enough to get across the front man. So what have we got to do against Rob? We've got to regroup. We've got to come in training with a smile on our face, pick ourselves up, not feel sorry for ourselves, and come up with a forget game plan. Forget game plan. Because the game plan was always good. The game plan was there. We have a mentality and a spirit to do whatever it takes to win a game of football. And sometimes you look at and this is no disrespect for Northampton, but they get it, they boot it to Eves, you're looking for a free kick. They get a second ball, they play forward. It's very, very basic. But they've won a game today. So we need to probably copy it and be a little bit more basic and just try and get a result.